Oh, there's a bunch of them. Guess what I had. Let's see. Jonah says groundhog. Look at him sleeping. <laughs> I had a haircut. You did get a haircut. Was it fun? Is that a T-Rex? A Ceratops. Oh, it's a Triceratops. Good evening, y'all. Welcome back. I've got supper in the oven. We're having leftovers again tonight. I've been having a lot of leftovers here lately. So last night we made the spaghetti bake that's kind of like the million dollar spaghetti. I had the whole second one left over plus some from the first one that I made. So that's what we're having for supper tonight. It's warming up in the oven. Manny's giving me hugs. Are you cold? I need cover. You need cover? Okay. I have the air conditioner on, maybe that's why it's getting a little chilly. So I have the whole one warming up in the oven. What's left over from the other one, we'll just heat it up in the microwave because I just have it in a little container. While that's warming up, we're gonna go ahead and make a cake. It's gonna be a coconut cake, a dreamy coconut, dreamy creamy coconut cake. I just made that name up. I'm backing up and Sissy's foot was there, almost fell. I'm excited because when I was thinking about this recipe, I was like, it'd be nice just to have a white cake mix. You know, it'd make it easier, quicker, but I didn't think I had one. I came over to the baking cabinet Guess what I had? I had one. So we're just gonna use this white cake mix, but we're gonna jazz it up a little bit. We just came in and Cece put on a Max and Ruby, y'all. I think I know every single episode of Max and Ruby by heart. Somebody's alarm is going off. Whose alarm is that? It's Ty's, come on. So anyway, yeah, Max and Ruby. That's where the salt and pepper song came from. Salt and pepper, pepper and salt. Number one hit. <laughs> what is this? Like a car? It's like a car. All right, Cece's just gonna mix this up in the bowl because she loves to stir. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put pretty much everything the box says. There's the T-Rex again. There's the T-Rex again. Thank you. The box says one cup of water. We're just gonna put half a cup of water and the other half cup we're gonna use coconut milk. Let me find that for you real quick. So that was half a cup of water, half a cup of coconut milk. You can try to do it in this bowl. I think I've tried to say this like three times and then I start thinking about something else. The kids like the flavor of coconut, but they don't like the texture of coconut flakes. So this cake is gonna be really good. We're just doing it as a sheet cake instead of a layer cake. Titus is cutting the grass, y'all. He's getting close over here now, so it might be loud. So instead of making a layer cake, we're just gonna do the sheet cake and I'll put, we're gonna do a whipped cream as the frosting instead of any cream cheese frosting or anything. We're just gonna do some homemade whipped cream. Okay, Cece, you can put in the egg whites. Okay. And then we just need half a cup of oil. Yeah, that's fine, it's just a little bit. So yeah, with the sheet cake, you can frost half of it and then put coconut flakes on half and no coconut flakes on the other half. All right, Cece's doing that. I'm gonna pour in just a little bit of cream of coconut. This is the good stuff, y'all. It's the Coco Lopez. There we go. That was probably just about a fourth of a cup, maybe. Now this one tastes like a little spring. Mm -hmm. Got all this coconut. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want that? really good right there. <laughs> it's fat fruit. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm getting the cake pan ready. So that's it for the cake mix. We're just gonna pour it into the pan. It's going in the oven. Probably just about 13 to 15 minutes until a toothpick inserted comes out clean or a fork or a butter knife or just until you know it's done. <laughs> and the spaghetti bake is ready to come out.
Taking out the trash? Uh huh. Oh, big boy. We gotta take it to the trash can. Do you want mama to get it? Okay. Sissy got the big one, we'll trade. So we finished eating, got the kitchen cleaned up. Titus had to run to town. Jacob and Tyler went to fish for a little bit. I was gonna leave this trash in there for them to bring out when they got home, but mainly wanted to come outside anyway, so we grabbed the trash. We need to make a rock path up through here. I've told y'all this before. You can see the pathway where we walk from the front yard right there, all right here. Like there used to be grass here, but it's like our path. It's where we walk. So we've worn down the ground and then it goes all the way to the chicken coop, to the little fire pit area and to the trash pen over there. It's not so bad when it's dry like it is right now, but when it rains and we get a lot of rain, y'all know, it gets really, really muddy. So that's the next outside project is the rock path. Oh, you tripped over that stick? Stick too? No, I didn't trip. I stepped over it. So we keep the trash in this pen. Lots of wildlife. They will come and dig through your trash. They're trying to figure out what animal is doing this. Jonah says groundhog. We do have an extreme amount of groundhogs around here, y'all. Like more than I've ever seen in my life. You'll just be driving down the road and it's like, boom, groundhog, groundhog, groundhog everywhere. Right after the sun rises in the morning, if you have to go somewhere, I promise you, you will see a groundhog on the side of the road. Rock collection. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's see if we got some eggs. Watch out for that stick. Oh, it looks like somebody moved it. Ooh, nice and clean. You saw a bird? It went in the tree? Oh, there's a bunch of them. I bet they have a nest in here somewhere. All right, y'all, we are back inside. We're gonna make the whipped cream for the cake. It's cooled down now all the way, so we are ready. This is almost a whole 16 ounce carton. All right, so we're just gonna whip this up. I'm gonna add a little bit of the cream of coconut in here to sweeten it instead of putting any sugar or anything. So I'm gonna let it whip first, then we'll add some of the cream of coconut. have lots of taste testers over here. What do you think? Can you taste the coconut? Yeah. 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 I still can't taste Good. it. I'm gonna put a little more. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna poke just a few holes in the cake. This is not like a actual poke cake, but we are gonna poke a few holes and put a little bit of the liquid part of the cream of coconut on here and just spread it over the top so it kind of seeps down in there. It's a little bit of a poke cake. So we'll just pour that over the top, spread it around. So I've got the coconut lightly toasting in the oven. We're just gonna spread on the whipped topping. Keep checking my coconut.
now, so it's a little while later now. All the rest of the family has already tried the cake and they keep saying how good it is. Now, we are about to give it a try. I don't know if y'all can tell, but there's a little bit of a darker layer right here. That's where we poured on that cream of coconut. I think that part's gonna be really good. <laughs> Let's see. Y'all, that is so good. And it tastes like a homemade cake. Like you would never know that was a boxed cake. And it was really easy because we just, you know, changed a few things added some cream of, I don't know, it is good y'all. It is so good. <laughs> if you like coconut, perfect Easter dessert right here. Really easy and I'm serious, it tastes like homemade. Which I mean, I know even if you make it from the box, it's technically homemade because you made it at home. But homemade, you know, has a different feel. Should we say from scratch? From scratch has the different feel. This feels like from scratch. <laughs> I did stick it in the refrigerator. We like for coconut cake to be cold. I mean, we'll eat it room temperature too, but we really like it cold, so. All right, I'm gonna eat this, then I'm gonna go get ready for bed. <laughs> it's so good.